My name's Nancy Lyon, and I've uh, been in First Baptist Church as long as Larry has. <laughs> and uh, uh, I just wanted to share from my point of view of what it was like the day that uh, uh, we were standing there and we heard the word cancer of the larynx. And the first thing you think of is your voice. You know, what? how is he going to teach Sunday school if God doesn't intervene? And uh, so I asked the doctor there, you know, is there any way to spare his voice? And, uh, you know, the radiation do it or whatever. But uh, they didn't know, maybe a little bit. But I believe that that night that when they were going, or that day when they were going to do the surgery on his throat, Larry's throat, and do the bi biopsy, that God prompted that doctor's spirit to not do that and refer us to this other doctor because not too many times do doctors not go ahead and perform a surgery. And so we know God intervened, and uh, but the calmness and the peace, even though we heard those words, we knew we had to be totally in God's hands. We were at God's mercy. And uh, we are so grateful for the way he has worked. And every time I hear Larry's voice, it reminds me of the miracle that only God could do. And, uh, and how he has wove us through, in and out. One thing we need, knew that we needed to do is pray for the right specialist, that God would provide the right specialist with the right diagnosis. He did both of those. But the last prayer was that God would get the glory out of it. And God has shown his glory to me, whether he has it anybody else. His glory is showing strong in my heart and in my life. And I just want you to know out there that God wants you to turn it all over to him. And that's what we had to do is just lay our lives and our hearts and our hands in the uh, in the hands of God and he's able to do what we can't do and when you come up against a rock so big it is so much easier then to turn it all over to God because when there's nothing we can do we have a tendency to want to jump in and and fix it but in those times like we've been through all we could do is just trust in God.